today in grammar we're going to talk about making comparisons. Um, you're going to learn how to choose when to use an adjective or an adverb to compare. Now remember, adjectives compare nouns and adverbs compare verbs. All right. So I have a sentence. Let's read it. Geese are some of the largest of the verb of the birds that migrate. What are being compared? Are they things or actions? The things being compared are geese and birds that migrate. Now, the word largest has our EST ending. That is a superlative adjective. It describes more than two things. Okay. How about this one? The cardinal sings more sweetly than the crow. Is sweetly an adjective or an adverb, and is it comparative or superlative? More sweetly is a comparative adverb. It's comparing two things, the cardinal and the crow. It compares the action of singing. So that's what makes it an adverb. Comparative adverb. On page 111 in your reader's notebook, you are going to um, review adjectives and adverbs that compare and work on this page. Adjectives compare nouns, adverbs compare verbs or actions. You're going to write either adjective or adverb to complete each sentence, and then write adjective or adverb to identify the answer that you gave. So, a butterfly's wings move, hmm, then a locust wings. What are you going to change quietly to? A butterfly's wings move more quietly than a locust's wings. Is this an adverb or an adjective? It's an adverb. It's comparing the action of the wings. So you would write adverb here on the second line and more quietly on the first line. Work on two, three, and four, and then you're going to write two sentences. Include an adjective that compares in one and an adverb that compares in the other. Make sure to have your learning adult check your work and join me back on the video when you're done. Words, the words a, an, and the are special adjectives called articles. Okay? Use a and an with singular nouns. Use a before words that begin with a consonant sound. Use an before words that begin with a vowel sound. Use the before both the singular and plural nouns. Now an adjective formed from a proper noun should begin with a capital letter. Here's our example. The class took a bus to see an exhibit of African zebras. Okay, the <clears throat> is an article, a bus, an exhibit, an African describes zebras. All right. So we're going to use the before both singular and plural nouns, such as a butterfly, an eagle, the penguin. An adjective formed from, with a, from a proper noun should begin with a capital letter, like North Atlantic whale, Australian moths, just like we see African zebras. All right. So here you are going to rewrite each sentence correctly and capitalize the proper adjectives. All right. So number one, we also saw European deer. Well, European needs to be capitalized because that is a proper adjective. Okay, you're going to do number two on your own. And then use proofreading marks to write a, an, and the correctly. So, dear diary, we took a trip to see butterflies. Well, we need to insert a carrot to see the butterflies. We also saw a which should be an ant, as big as a spider. 
All right, look carefully. See if you can find them all. There are um, five things to correct. See if you can find them all.